Well, tonight at 6, he once led Erie County at a time of a budget crisis. Now, Joel Giambra is weighing a possible run for the state's top job. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing spoke with a former lawmaker with insight on state politics about a possible Giambra run for governor. Joel Giambra may be ready for a comeback. The former Erie County executive is seriously considering running for New York State governor. Giambra told me he's out of town but promised to speak soon. I have confirmed that he is seriously interested and wants the Republican nomination. But here's the catch. To win, he needs upstate and downstate support. Doable or not? Well, I think there's a lot of questions. Former Congressman Tom Reynolds says Giambra must build an image across the state, build up his campaign war chest, and ignite Republicans in proclaiming to be a moderate Republican, well... That is kind of wanting to... Uh, to run in a Democratic state, but uh, run uh, having the Republican line, but never acknowledging it. And I, I don't think that's going to necessarily fly in New York politics. Reynolds, who saw how George Pataki was successful, but can Giambra do the same? The state Republican conservative infrastructure was different in 1994 than it is here in uh, 2018. There are fewer Republicans and more Democrats making it tough. The country also seems to have an interest in electing non-political uh, people, if you will. Everybody has some type of baggage. Nobody's exempt. And so when we talk Joel Giambra, <clears throat> you think red-green budget. You think family and friends. Could that hurt him? I think there's a favorable impression of Joel Giambra. The question is, can he transcend a two-term office that he held more than a decade ago? into an opportunity to be a candidate for governor. In an exclusive governor interview with again. Channel 2's Scott Levin in September, well. local yeah. developer yeah. Carl Palladino, who lost when he ran for governor, says he's thinking about running again. We'll do some polling in the next couple of months. A lot of the establishment crew, they're saying, oh, we don't want a primary. And they've asked me to come out and, and say that I'll honor their wishes. I'm not going to buy into any old candidate that you, you bums uh, think is, is good. The guy's got to show me fire in the belly. Reynolds says candidates need to put their vision out there across the state. Right now, the Republicans have to produce a viable opponent in order to be competitive to Andrew Cuomo. The question is, will that person come from Western New York? Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.